What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a follow-up to our wheel mounting uh, video regarding Darren's MK4 Super Wheels. But we're going to go ahead and balance it in this video. So I'm not going to be as detailed as I was in my last how to use this balancer video, but I'll just kind of give you guys like a, a quick overview of how I'm going to do this. All right. I'm going to go ahead and insert a link to the detailed video where I go over this Mayflower uh, wheel balancer. Let's go ahead and let me show you guys what I'm doing here to get Darren's wheels balanced. All right guys, so as we spoke about earlier, these are some low profile tires on his wheels. These are 19 by 11 wheels. I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're 19 by 11s. And the tire is a Toyo Proxies R88R. Uh, where's the size? I know it's a, it's a 275 35 19. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how I have it set up. So I've got my, it's, this isn't the smallest cone, this is like the medium cone, I believe. So there's my super large one that I bought. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a link to this cone. This comes separately. You gotta buy this separate. And then this cone's, so this, so this is the largest cone, I believe, that comes with the balancer. And then this is your medium. And where's the small one? I know there's a little baby one right here. So there's that. So I've got our little medium here. So I've got the wheel facing us. I'm gonna go ahead and secure this bad boy. So let me put you guys down here. One thing that I kind of use to help myself is I put my knees underneath the tire just to kind of lift it up a little bit. I'll push that cone in and then we're gonna go ahead and bring this in. I'll secure it down to where it's nice and snug. Make sure that the wheel is on the cone good, nice and snug. So let's go ahead and get to the process of balancing this. So let's go ahead and start over again. Let me turn this off and turn it back on for you guys. All right, and this is basically how I like to use the machine. We're gonna go ahead and set it to that mode. And then I don't like using grams. I'm gonna go ahead and change the unit into ounces. So now it's OZ. And then we gotta set it up. So this is the distance to the inner lip. To measure that, we're gonna go ahead and bring this out, touch it up against the rim, up against the, the lip like that. And then we're gonna read that. And it is, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's, it's reading 25. So we're gonna go over here, set this first one to 25. Man, I'm breathing super hard, man. I ate a lot. All right, so that's 25. And then our, our breadth, that's basically the width of the wheel. We're gonna take our supplied tool. We're gonna take this tool right here. And I don't know if you guys can see it, it's got numbers. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the surface of the inner lip and the surface of the outer lip. And then we're gonna read it. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is reading at 11. Can you guys, can we focus on that a little bit? Come on, what's going on? Yep, it's reading at 11. So, I gotta set this bad boy to 11. There we go. And then for our diameter, obviously that is 19. All right, and now, now that we have all three of these set, secure on here, let's go ahead and click start. Tire's gonna start spinning. And then it's gonna read a number for us. All right, so the last wheel and tire did this for me and it's actually a really good number. Um, this only requires uh, half, what is this? 50, 0.50 ounces? Yeah, that's half an ounce right there. So I'll go ahead and insert links to uh, these products right here. I got these off of Amazon. Basically, you can buy all the stuff off of Amazon. I'll go ahead and insert links to them in the description. So we're gonna grab our half ounce, set that aside. Don't peel it just yet. Oh, and then what we're gonna do is you're gonna focus on this and you're gonna be, and you're gonna twirl the tire. So notice as I twirl the tire, it, see, it moves. So we wanna bring it to where the tire hits that center mark right there, where the whole thing flashes right there. So we're gonna keep that in its position. And then what we wanna do is the top absolute center right here of the wheel. Now, we, we might not be absolutely perfect, but usually what I like to do is 
I kind of look at that that uh, bar right there, and I just kind of like center my finger on it, and then I'll just hold it in place, right? So now that my finger's on that spot, I'm gonna go ahead and twist it to where I can see it. And then, you know, if there's dust inside the wheel, that's a good way for me to mark it. And there's a mark right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my wheel weight, my 50, or my half an ounce right there. So what I like to do to make sure that we have a nice sticky surface, I'll go ahead and grab some brake clean. You can spray a little bit onto a rag or spray just a little dab like that. Now, if you have plastic dipped wheels, don't use brake clean because it'll just wipe off the paint. All right, right there, you see our mark. We're gonna grab our half an ounce. There we go, sorry, I'm on one hand. We're gonna put it basically, here, I'm gonna put it like right there. So you see it's lined up with my mark. Now we'll go ahead and run this one more. There we go. And it's reading zero. So that means that this is a good quality tire and wheel if it only took half an ounce. So there's that. If you have like a bigger tire or 35 inch tire or something like that, usually it'll call it'll call for more weight, but performance tire, good quality, half an ounce. All right. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments regarding the process of balancing wheels uh, and tires on this Mayflower balancer or any other questions regarding the channel, go ahead and comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it. Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It motivates me to do more of this kind of content. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.